Hello everyone and welcome back to another anatomy video. This is Dr. Ayan from the Veterinary Anatomy channel. Today in this video we will talk about the extensor muscles of the carbos or carpal joint and the digits in the horse. And in the next video we will talk about the flexors. So don't forget to watch the next video and let's get started. So here we are in the antibrachial region and we are going to talk about the extensors and flexors of the carbos and digits. In general, guys, we can divide the muscles located in this area into two groups. The craniolateral group, these muscles here, and on the medial side, we have another group of muscles. We can name it as caudomedial group. Before we start talking about the muscles, I just want to remind you about the antibrachial fascia. This very strong fascia covers all muscles in this area, this one here. So we cut it, dissect it, and now we can move it to the side. This is the antibrachial fascia. And now we can see this is a lateral view, and that's why we will talk about the craniolateral group of muscles. In general, the craniolateral group of muscles has four muscles. Can you see them? One, two, three, four. So four muscles, like my fingers here. The two outside muscles are responsible for the carpus, while these two are for the digits. All of them are extensor muscles. So let's start from cranial to cauda. This one here is the extensor carpi radialis. After that, we have the common digital extensor muscle. We have the lateral digital extensor muscle. And finally, cowardly here, we have the extensor carb ulnaris. Let's start with the first one here. So here we will start with the extensor carb radialis. The extensor carpi radialis originates, as you can see here, from the lateral supracondylar crest. Let's go to the bone again. So this is the lateral view of the humerus of the horse, and this is here the lateral supracondylar crest here. So this is the origin of the extensor carpi radialis here, from this area here. And the, the insertion of this muscle it moves down, 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 and inserts to the uh, proximo medial, medial uh, proximo dorsal on metacarpal bone number three. If you look at this bone here, this is a cranial view where we can find actually the third metacarpal bone. Uh, more to the lateral, we have the fourth uh, metacarpal bone, and on the medial side, we have the uh, second metacarpal bone. So the extensor carpi radialis here inserts to the proximo dorsal of proximo dorsal. So this area here, proximo dorsal uh, area of the third metacarpal bone. Let's follow. Let's follow the tendon of this muscle. So if you follow the tendon of this muscle here, I try to dissect it here. You will find that it inserts to the proximal dorsal area of the metacarpal bone number three. So the function of this muscle from the name extensor carpi radialis is extensor muscle of the carpal joint. Now let's move to the other extensor muscle of the carpal joint, which is located caudally here. This is the extensor carpi ulnars, extensor carpi ulnars. The origin of this muscle is the lateral epicondyle, the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. If you look at the bone here, you will find that this is a lateral view of the humerus, and this is the lateral epicondyle of the humerus, the origin of the extensor carpi ulnars. The extensor carpi ulnars, if you dissect it down, you will find that uh, this uh, muscle inserts partially to the accessory carpal bone. This is the accessory carpal bone here. I can palpate it, accessory carpal bone. So it moves and inserts to the accessory carpal bone. And finally, 
to the metacarbal bone number four. Metacarbal bone number four, of course, here the uh, proximal part of this bone. This is the extensor carbi ulnaris. The extensor carbi ulnaris uh, is innervated like the other extensors by the radial nerve. So radial nerve is for the innervation of this muscle. Now let's move to these two muscles which are extensors of the digits. The big one here, the big one here is the common digital extensor muscle. The common digital extensor muscle originates from the lateral epicondyle, lateral, look at this one here, from the lateral epicondyle of the humerus, again, from the same point here, lateral epicondyle of the humerus, and at the same time, on the way, partially or originates also from this area of the radius, so from the radius too. If you follow this muscle down, so, and um, here you can see the tendon of the common digital extensor muscle. It moves down over the, uh, the carpal joint and down to the, uh, to the distal part of the forelimb. Exactly uh, this muscle inserts to the extensor process of the uh, B3 or the distal phalanx. Extensor process of B3 or the distal phalanx. This is the insertion of the common digital extensor muscle. From the name again, common digital extensor muscle, uh, this muscle is extensor of the digit, extensor of the digit. This muscle is also innervated by the radial nerve. Later, in another video or the next video, I will show you how the ligaments of all of these muscles uh, goes down and uh, inserts to their places. Now let's move to the next muscle here, which is the lateral digital extensor muscle. The lateral digital extensor muscle originates from the radius and ulna in this area here. So let's go to this area, look. So what we can feel here is the, uh, the, this part of the radius. So it originates from the radius and ulna in this area here, it moves down and the tendon, if you follow the tendon, it will also move down to the digit and inserts finally to the dorsal, dorsal, dorsal proximal area of the proximal phalanx or B1. This is the insertion of the lateral digital extensor muscle. Again, it's extensor of the digit. This is the function of it. Okay, it's also innervated by the radial nerve. So again, all muscles in the cranium, all muscles here, let's just take it. All four muscles in the uh, craniolateral group uh, are extensor muscles. The outside two for the extensor of the carpal joint and the two in the middle are for the digits. And all of them are innervated by the ner radial nerve. Here, and before we move to the medial surface, let's talk about this small muscle found in this area here. This muscle here called the extensor carbi oblicus or abdo uh, abductor bolitos longus. This muscle here originate, um, abductor bolitus longus. Uh, this muscle here originates from the lateral, lateral, lateral distal, somehow, I mean here from this area of the radius, lateral surface here, and if you follow the tendon of this, you will find that it inserts to the proximal, yeah, this is the muscle and this is the tendon. If you follow it, it will insert to the second metacarpal bone, proximal part of the second metacarpal bone. So this is the musculus abductor pollicis longus, or in other books, in some books, they name it as extensor carbi um, oblicus, oblicus. Again, it inserts, as you can see here, to the proximal part of the second metacarpal bone here. This muscle is also innervated by the radial nerve. Now we will move to the medial side and talk about the caudomedial group uh, of muscles. So see you later.